read this 365 day devotional titled Into His Marvelous Light. This is brought to you by a peculiar people with Elizabeth Adikadra as the anchor. This month's theme is My God Who Made Me. Understanding our relationship with God and experiencing Him on a personal level cannot happen without understanding Him as the Creator as the source of all things, as the one who made us and has a purpose for us. Join us and be blessed. Hello, today we'll be reading from 1 Timothy chapter 6. This, before I continue, let me just tell you that the, the um, books of um, First Timothy and Second Timothy are <laughs> a couple of my favorite books in the Bible. I mean, I always admired um, Paul's relationship with Timothy, the kind of mentor he was to Timothy. Like, if you can take time to read First Timothy and Second Timothy, you can be set for life as a Christian very specific instructions on living your life and the things that you should do as Christians and not Christians um, and <laughs> the things you should do as Christians and with non-Christians and just basically how to like a life manner that's what I used to look at it as <laughs> but today um, we was talking about finances when we will be reading First Timothy 6 verse 17 to 19. Teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and generous to those in need always being ready to share with others by doing this they will be storing up their treasure as a good foundation for the future so that they may experience true life Hmm. the verse of emphasis here is verse 17b their trust should be in god who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. This topic of versus money management uh, with Christians is pretty controversial. So I will try not to make it a discussion, but I will just list out some points that I have learned from the books of Timothy when it comes to finances. I'll just list them out then you can use the points to do whatever you want to do with it one thing i learned from a mentor of mine number one is that never consider finances as my 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 money my assets my property like if you can always remember that God created me God created everything that exists directly or indirectly he made he made every single thing if you can remember that nothing belongs to me I'm not taking any of this with me anyway I didn't come with any of it my goals my my destiny my 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 assignment, my mission is far beyond monetary fulfillment, then it would be easy to trust in God and not in money. It would be easy to let go of everything without feeling anything. It would be easy to use the money to do good. And one thing I promise you, number two point is that God always meets our needs. God always meets our needs. 
no matter how narrow it might be he won't miss it no matter how tight the time might be like it's impossible god will always come true if you can take him up on his word that you should trust him with all your needs all your wants everything that you need you will not lack a thing the bible says the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want if you can indeed trust him as a sheep trusts the shepherd you will never lack anything but if you think is the money that you are keeping if you think is the properties that you're piling up if you think that is the investments that you are making that is going to satisfy you then don't expect him to keep on to his own end of the bargain when you decided not to trust in him if he tells you to take all the money in your account and go and use it to do a particular thing if you can trust him and do as he says he would make sure that you don't feel the impact of oh i use this money to do something what you need he will provide i'm saying this confidently because i have tried it and i have seen him every step of the way every step of the way he would always 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 show up for you those are two main points that i wanted to point out first that you should remember that you're a steward you're only keeping this that's one thing my mentor told me he says if you can remember that i am only keeping this resources and i would do whatever god tells me to do with it if we can live like that you see that the same way he's telling you to use this and do something the same way he's telling someone else to to use this and and fulfill your needs too he's a very organized god and he doesn't do things anyhow so just trust him don't trust in yourself and your plans and whatever just trust him Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We worship you, we adore you. We say blessed be your name, O Lord. We thank you for this privilege that we have to identify with you, to say we are your children. We thank you for the salvation of our souls, for this hope that we have for return our life. We say thank you for keeping us even in this present world for bringing us to this point learning from your word we say thank you for everything father we've been reminded today not to put our trust in monetary possessions or anything that we have here on earth but to trust in you and follow your directions in everything lord we say that we will remember that you made us and you made everything that you have given to us here on earth and we we'll remember that everything belongs to you and nothing nothing belongs to us father we ask that even as we go about our daily activities you will help us to continually remember to trust you in everything to follow your leading in everything not to do anything out of your direction not to do anything out of your leading lord father this day we ask that you help us to tell people about you give us the courage the boldness opportunities that we need to reach out to people and bring them to the knowledge of christ in jesus name thank you lord for answered prayers we lift all our concerns whatever burdens any of us may be having up to you lord that you help us you wipe our tears you will heal every infirmity in jesus name in jesus name of praise amen thank you for listening to this podcast episode don't forget to share have a nice day bye